Hello, everyone, folks, and good morning. Uh, welcome to another little uh, kind of indie preview type of deal here, this time for a game called Back to the Dawn. Uh, so this, as far as I can tell, is sort of like a RPG escapist kind of deal with animals. You know, it's funny, um, a little while ago, uh, I had made a joke that it seems like every SRPG, for whatever reason, has to have furries in it. Um, and ever since then, a lot of the preview codes have been for stuff with animals. I'm not sure what the deal is, but let's go ahead and continue on here. So thank you to the devs here uh, for providing a uh, code uh, for uh, for this whole deal. Now, I will say, um, I'm not 100% sure what their name is in this case. Um, I think it said it on the intro. I'm not 100% certain, but... Um, I, I don't see it on this screen right now, and uh, the other thing was showing it in Chinese, so I don't know what it is. Now let's go ahead and cover this here. So to start off with, you have a few different characters here, however you can, uh, at least in this demo anyway, uh, it seems like you unlock uh, different characters as you progress through. So I was giving this a little bit of a thing, but you basically pick a person, you pick their uh, their different background type of stuff here. So we start off with a fox who's a journalist, so it can either be, a, like, at the start here, we got like a broadcast journalist uh, to be able to uh, apparently just be better at making friends with people, um, while also getting additional knowledge out of books. So this is just more of like a general charisma, reading, kind of researching kind of guy. You got the undercover journalist here uh, with uh, violation threshold with your secret compartment. Take that as you will. <laughs> um, uh, or a guy that uh, crafts things, kind of like a uh, general uh, spy type of sword here. Um, or the war correspondent who knows how to use weapons better, has extra health, and uh, apparently has PTSD uh, from what he's seen. So, uh, so apparently he has uh, thick fur armor, which sounds kind of interesting. Uh, so we can probably... Let's see. Do we go for the charisma guy? I feel like we... I usually go for the charisma guy in, in these games, but uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and go for this guy. I want to see how they handle the uh, uh, the scary mechanic here. If it's the law of the jungle in this city, then how are we different from wild animals? Uh, less limbs to worry about, I guess. I like the uh, kind of polygonal uh, little uh, crane over here. Kind of makes me think of, um, of heavy rain there. Dear viewers, I'm here at Lame Leg River near the Black Marsh Chemical Plant at uh, Skid Road. Uh, as you can see, the river is purple. It also has a very pungent odor. Well, this is perfectly healthy. This basically just seems like Chicago, then. Um, okay, so I'm with one of the residents of the riverbank. Let's hear his thoughts on the matter. And he's a beaver. That's that's adorable. My thoughts? This damn chemical plant opened less than two years ago, and it's already devastated the surrounding area. Oh, so actually this is Florida, then. This is, they're just having a red tide, then. For those that never lived in Florida, this crap happens every year. It sucks. Uh, anyway... Those heartless sons of bitches uh, must have dumped sewage into the river at night. Now all the fish are dead, and it's very pungent. Uh, anyone that's ever lived by, uh, well, pretty much anywhere near Sarasota will tell you. It's messed up. Just uh, smell the stench. So many kids are sick, they can't stop coughing and have rashes all over their bodies. This stuff is true and sucks to deal with. And have you uh, informed the authorities, such as the Environmental Protection Agency or City Hall? Of course, but they're useless. None of them want to take responsibility. Because they're usually paid off. Reality sucks. Anyway, heard the the mayor's nephew has shares in the plant. The bastards are all in on it together. Correct. I mean, granted, in Florida's case, it's more so that there's just a bunch of farmers that want to dump all their shady crap in the river and, well, pay a little bit extra to do so. Anyway, man, I'm, I'm liking the presentation of this. This is cool. Uh, I wish I'd gotten to this sooner. It has been a week. We're <laughs> gonna put it that way. See, they see us poor people here as less than nothing. Viewers, is this the, uh, or is the tragic situation here the result of illegal sewage dumping? I mean, yeah, no crap, dude. And is the inaction of the authorities due to the mayor's involvement? I'm pretty sure it may go higher than him, but maybe. We'll continue to investigate the story, so stay tuned for our follow-up report. Except apparently then jail happened somehow. Let's see how that works out. Okay, Thomas the Fox Woodpecker reporting from... and we don't know. Alright, excellent interview, Mr. Big Shot Reporter. I'm sure you didn't ask me here just to watch a video with you, Mr. Campaign Manager. It need not. We're both busy men. I'll get straight to the point. They, why do they look like they're eyeing each other up? <laughs> As you know, the mayor's uh, four-year term is almost up. The election's just around the corner. He's seeking re-election and has hired me, Angelo, as his campaign manager. The mayor's asked the eraser for help. He must be getting desperate. The Eraser? Oh, that's just baseless sand there. I'm a social, uh, serious social activist. But let's get back to the point. 
cards on the table, the mayor does indeed have a certain relative who holds shares in the plant, but the mayor wasn't aware of that fact, and not so called, uh, and no so called power for money deal ever took place. But your interview may cause some of the more unsophisticated citizens to misunderstand the situation. So I hope you'll reconsider your follow up report to avoid any further misunderstanding. I'm just doing my job, dude. What a great journalist. I admire your passion for your work. But there's more to life than work, far more. What are you trying to say? A little birdie told me you're still renting some flea bag apartment and broke up with your girl not too long ago. I mean, granted, it's, it sounds from this situation that she probably broke up with him, but anyway. Also, that's cute. There's a seal over here that's doing the bartending. That's cool. Alright, and no friend to speak of, other than the lawyer they used to go to school with. Uh, your radical reporting always gets you in trouble, and he's the one who has to clean up your mess. Uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, suck up to him. Uh, you make a pretty good journalist yourself. You flatter me, I'm just trying to make a point. We both find ourselves in situations here less than ideal. We can help each other. Kong the Briefcase. Yeah. This guy... Is he actually a gorilla? He's definitely a gorilla. We're getting paid off. What's this? Are you trying to buy me? You got me wrong. I simply want to, you to join our campaign staff as head of publicity. This is your fee. So one of your talent working as a TV reporter? Such a waste. I want to give you an opportunity. So will you join us or carry on with your thankless reporting? You're smart, Fox. I'm sure you'll make the right choice. Uh... Well, if we turn turn it down, I'm assuming we uh, just get beaten and thrown into jail and told that we took it. Or we can actually take the money, and there's no shame in it. Um, I mean, let's see. When, like, all things considered, it doesn't seem like we have a whole lot of choice in the matter, but it seems like the obvious answer would be to take, it, take the money and turn it in, and I'm curious if that's an option. <laughs> I can join you, but my fee is double. Well then. You've got yourself a deal. I'm so glad you made the wise choice. There's always, uh, there'll always be unfortunate people in this world. It's either them or us. Don't forget, we're animals. The law of the jungle is second nature to us. Don't try to deny it. Well then, a toast to our first full collaboration. To the law of the jungle, which will hopefully turn around into a law of sicking the Dobermans on this guy. You made your choice, but what fate awaits the city? The mayor will surely be reelected and continue his reign of corruption. I can't turn the money in! As for the people of Skid Road, they will be powerless to do anything about it, but none of that concerns you. Wait, what? <laughs> that was it? Okay. Uh, so what happens if we hit continue then? <laughs> there we go! Hit the credits already! Okay, so here, can we just uh, skip all of this? Here we go. We'll hold that to skip real quick. Um, okay. Skip to the next decision. This is, this is fun, so I'm assuming... Okay, the price of justice. So I'm assuming this time we just get the uh, get the out other outcome or something. So I guess this time you just turned it down. Or are we just about to get turned in for accepting bribes? Sergeant Norman, this is my precinct. Is this your car? Yes. Is there a problem? We received an anonymous tip that the car contains an illegal substance. We're here to check. Oh boy. I'll <laughs> check up front. Eric, move your ass. Turn the trunk inside out. Sir, there must be some mistake. That's for us to determine. You just sit tight. And they're 100% going to find it. Because, of course, they did. Sarge, I found it. He was hiding something, and it looks like grade-A stuff. The guy in the cafe, he must have done it. Save it for the station. Aw. Well, the animation's really nice. Let's see, what a great day this calls for another cup. Of celebration coffee? You know what? He's got it right. Prominent reporter sentenced to prison. Today, Thomas the Fox, the prominent reporter for Woodpecker TV, was sentenced to three years in jail and fined $50,000 for possession of an illegal substance. Uh, he will serve his sentence at Boulderton Prison. Sources state he is also suspected of bribing interviewees and fabricating fake news stories, among other violations. In the words of one sitting resident, I'm very disappointed in him. I no longer believe in any of his past reports. The in investigation into the contamination of Lame Leg River has finally brought the truth to light. The investigation team jointly formed uh, City Hall and uh, the EPA uh, issued a statement to which read the incident was caused by a temporary a uh, temporary worker who was drunk on the job. He accidentally poured chemicals down the drain, which resulted in mild contamination. The temporary worker in question has been fired. The investigation team has also allocated the uh, Black Marsh Chemical Plant additional funds to assist in cleanup activities in an effort to return a clear river to the public. Well, this is going great. <laughs> 
Uh, this is neat. Oh, and you're supposed to still stop the, uh, the re-election. Okay, this is cool. This is cool. I like this. Uh, again, this is going to be a little bit of a preview type of thing. For whatever reason, I couldn't get it working until finding a little bit of advice here for uh, uh, for basically running it on the Steam Deck through, um, uh, through Proton instead of its normal thing. So if you happen to have run into that issue, apparently that solves it. Um, but uh, tomorrow's kind of when the embargo ends. So... Seeing as it's probably going to be a busy day tomorrow, that's where we're going to be starting here. All right, so stand at attention. Listen, good fish. From now on, you are now inmate 1220. Uh, Captain Bruce and my words are the law. You will obey. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up? I can't hear you. I understand. Now get your ass in cell three and make it snappy. All right. Oh, this is like a point-click move kind of thing. All right. Fair enough. Were you going, fool? Rude. Here it is, fish your new home. Before you go in, one last thing. Head counting in the lobby is at 8 o'clock. You better not be late. Now get out of my sight. Oh, dang. Phew, that guy talks a lot, but now is not the time to waste energy getting mad at him. It's been a week since my conviction, and I still haven't met with, my, with Reed, my lawyer. I don't know how the appeal is progressing, but I need to contact him ASAP. Ask the prisoners. They should know how to contact the outside. What's this? Crafting bench or something? This table looks older than me, but I guess beggars can't be choosers in this place. Maybe I can use that as a simple workbench. Uh, let's see. Can't craft, can't plant. Plant? Oh, this potted plant seems to be made of plastic. Craft? Uh, what can we make? Cloth, rope, lockpicks? Alright, well, not really going to help us here, and we're an investigation guy. Actually, we're the fighting guy, aren't we? Um, okay. See, a toilet sink combo it looks quite advanced. I hope the water doesn't overflow from the sink when the toilet's blocked. Okay. Uh, let's see, storage cupboard. Looks like I can have my own space. So there's like a storage thing. It seems to be a piece of paper on top. Uh, prison schedule. This is exactly what I need right now. Okay. Small cupboard. You can store items inside. Okay. Neato. And seems like time is ticking along. Does it only tick when you're doing stuff? Headcount prep is 745. I appreciate that it tells you these things. All right, what about you? Hi, uh, Thomas, I'm your new cellmate. This guy seems like an ass. Oh, hi, I'm just reading a letter from my girlfriend. Uh, I'm Sam. My nickname's Ratchet. I was a mechanic on the outside. I'm a journalist. Hey, no wonder you look familiar. I might have seen your show. All right, do you know how to contact the outside? Need to talk to my lawyer. Of course, this is a modern prison. You can write a letter, like me. Or if you're in a hurry, there's a payphone in the lobby. You can try after headcount, but there's usually a line. A phone, that's great news. I'll call after headcount. You've been here a week and you haven't noticed that, or for that matter, haven't gotten... Whatever. Maybe he was in some temporary jail. Okay. So, we have to... Uh, I figure we just go to headcount super early. Because, like, yeah, this is half an hour early, but if there's going to be a line, you get out... What are you doing letting everybody else go in front of you? Go to the head count, you get there early, then you get to the rest of the line early. Simple. Schedule your stuff there, Mr. Fox. So, attention. And the dog has shown up. <laughs> I love that there's just Doge Cop over here. <laughs> this is awesome. Anyway, so quiet assholes, it's count time. One, two, three, forty-five, uh, forty-seven. That's two absent. The absentees are in the infirmary. That's all. Listen, today's the first of the month, which means some more dipshits have joined you. I'll warn you, do not try to stand out from the crowd. Do not be a smartass in my domain, and I will show you no mercy. Now, let's get down to business. All you newcomers, listen and listen good. To enable you lazy maggots to earn your keep, the prison offers work assignments. There are still vacancies in the laundry room for now, so many new inmates who want to earn some money should apply to me. Remember, don't be choosy about your job. If you don't want to do it, somebody else will. So yeah, it, it, all in all, this seems like a, a lot like the uh, escapists there, which I haven't played a ton of, but I did enjoy watching a decent bit of. So, guy saying that he isn't going to be a slave, well, you don't have a whole lot of choice here in jail right now. So you shut the hell up, I don't want to don't have time to listen to your whining. Dismissed. See, prison work, do need some cash. I only have a few coins left in my pocket. My top priority now is to call Reed. He's probably waiting to hear from me. Uh, before the cutscene ends, do we see a payphone? I no, that's like a water thing up there. It's probably waiting, waiting to hear from me. Okay, there we go. Usually a line, but we got it right here. Okay. Let's see, it's been so long. Did you show my script to the director or not? What? What do you mean you didn't get a chance? You're his assistant. 
Do you have any idea how important the script is to me? My entire comeback is riding on it. It's Rudolph. <laughs> I don't know if the Red Nose Reindeer is in prison. Seriously, can you just get it together? Don't forget who helped you when you were at rock bottom. I wonder if this was a uh, Night Santa Went Crazy reference. <laughs> I don't know. See, there are guards watching you here. Be smart and don't cause any trouble. Okay, well, I mean... I'm assuming we just may wait for this guy to get off the phone. Uh, oh, just persuade. We can have a chance to persuade him. 42% chance. And we're handling it through dice rolls. Okay, I appreciate that. Fine, I was finished anyway. Okay. Don't, uh... Don't smell, uh... Don't smell like chicken later. Alright. Let's make a call then. Welcome to the prison smartphone. Uh, please enter your inmate number after the beep. Press pound and the call. Smartphone, I never would have expected this place to be so modern, but he's got a handset. Is it? Anyway. I thought it was uh, going to ask you to remember the code. Let me go ahead and 1220 pound. Connecting. Hello, inmate 1220. You can make two more calls today. You'll be charged $10 per call. A $90 service charge will be added to your first call. New wouldn't be that simple. It seems this place is more shady than I thought. Uh, I don't have $100 to insert. And find a way to get $100 as soon as possible. Yeah, that figures. Okay. So... All right. Sir, tell me how to work. You want to work? Good. Inmates should keep busy. And I have some good news. Right now, you can apply with the laundry room with uh, good conduct credits. There's a special privilege for new fish like you. If you're interested, come and fill out the form. Okay. Oh, so you actually get credits for being good. Interesting. The application is approved from now, and you can work in the laundry room. Uh, a work permit uh, registered by Bruce. It will get you to the laundry room during work hours. Okay. Uh, you see this fenced gate. Uh, go out from there before lunch, and a guard will take you to your workplace on the other side of the corridor, but don't try any funny business. This area is watched by snipers on the watchtower. You wouldn't want to get your head blown off, would you? I mean, okay. I'm just trying to get a job, dude. All right. No work permit, but I can't find a health certificate for you here. Oh, bureaucracy! You have to go to the infirmary to get a physical. You have to pass for before you can work. Because I have to go to the infirmary first. Okay. All new inmates must go get a physical. Do you want to go do that now? Yes. I'm assuming there's a way to just, like, rob somebody, but... It, I mean, granted, we are the fighting guy. We probably should do that, but still. Let's see. Are you here for a physical? Doc's in the consultation room. You can go in by yourself. Uh, come to me in the corridor when you're done. Don't stay in there for too long. Okay. Nah, he's an anteater. <laughs> That's terrifying. Okay. Uh, let's see. Use the password generator. What? Is it consultation room? Okay. Seems that even if you come to the infirmary, you can't just see the doctor whenever you want. Okay, so how do we... I guess we go over here. Hey, we don't want to search. I'm gonna try to be good. Examine the lock. Electronic lock. We need to know the code. Okay, well, we're not doing that. Oh, there we go. There's the intercom. Let's see, how can I help you? Here for a physical. Have some free time. That's kind of surprising. You undergo a brief physical in the consultation room. Beth from the records, I see this is your first time in the infirmary. I'm the doctor here. I'm responsible for all the inmates' ailments, big and small. Every day I leave at 17.30 sharp. I don't like overtime. I understand that. I wouldn't want to work in a prison at night either. If you get hurt during the night, the guard Bran will administer your drip. He's not a doctor, but he has some medical training, so you don't need to worry. Okay, let's look at your test results. Well, first of all, congratulations. There's nothing major wrong with you. I mean, we're in a prison. That's already pretty major. Um... But considering the unsanitary conditions here, you can never be too cautious. I'll give you a vaccination to help protect against most of the infectious diseases in here. Wait here, I'll get in from the pharmacy. Given what we've seen so far, it kind of makes me wonder uh, uh, if uh, if we actually can get sick from stuff if we don't get vaccinated here. Don't touch anything on the instrument tray. I can tell if anything's missing. Okay, I mean, we're just going to sit here. See, I'm the only one here. Dude, we're just sitting. We're going to be good. See, are you ready for your shot? Uh... No, I'm good. <laughs> Give shot. Why not? I mean, we already basically agreed to accept bribes to end it early, so... 
You have passed the physical at the infirmary and now can go to your workplace. Neato. Sir, I am good. Give me prizes. Okay. Alright, now we go back to the thingy, and... where is thingy? Can we not... oh, we're, we're reading the sign right now, that's why. Okay, so we got, we got a building map. Go to work. I doubt we're gonna get that much, considering we have 50, we need 100. Uh, there's no way there's gonna be that much. Let's see what work I can do. What's in the trash can? Okay, actually, we're... well, we're not watch right now. Let's see what's in the trash can. Do we get leftovers? Can we get HP regen? <laughs> you didn't find anything? Okay. But we did get experience, apparently. Alright. Looks like this is the job in the ironing room. What exactly am I supposed to do? Probably iron things. Not the instructions on the wall. I should go take a look. Uh, nothing interactable there. Let's be as antisocial as possible. Where are these instructions at? This machine is taller than me, but it's tiny compared to everything else. There are wheels in the bottom, it must have been moved. Because I see some signs behind it, I'm assuming. Okay, we succeed in that. See, I like that it's basically an RPG with skill checks. I love that kind of stuff. Alright. How can we antisocially get our instructions? Iron board instructions. Workers must be ah, must be proficient in the use of the iron. Take up iron, the iron to start ironing. Put it down to stop. The ironing times uh, five time or er, five types of clothing. Top uh, eleven minutes. Pants ten minutes. Vest nine minutes. Underpants eight minutes. Socks seven minutes. The closer the actual ironing time is to the specified time, the more pay the worker will receive. In order to improve efficiency and reduce costs, each worker must finish ironing three items of clothing in succession before he can receive his salary. The iron is fitted with an anti theft alarm. Is iron, if iron is, dis is disconnected from the power cord, it will trigger an alarm, so use it with care. Okay. So, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Gotcha. Wonder if we'll have to remember that. Let's get a thing. What? No, that's... No, do the ironing. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's interesting how they do this. Okay. Pants, I believe, were seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Almost done the dot. Okay. Not ideal. Technically would have been almost possible to get what we needed to get. But we still have time to do more work. Actually, this is pretty decent pay, all things considered. Um, almost unrealistic levels of pay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, come on, that's decent enough. Alright, uh... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, there we go. Nine minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. You know, it's kind of funny to me that, um, uh, that the way that they have this all set up right here is just kind of basically gamifying, getting bored as hell. That's kind of clever. Um, Alright, that's all, technically all we need for now. Get a payphone. Get lawyer. I mean, to their credit, they at least paid him right away. I would have expected that there would have been a long delay period or something. Make two more calls. Insert a hundred bucks. Saying it works. They confiscated my business card holder, but luckily I memorized Reed's number uh, from the office. Of course, there's also another number I can't forget. Maggie's. Who should I call? Uh, well, the law firm first. Good. These numbers are so tiny. 
Reed's Law, your reliable litigation specialist. It's me, Thomas. Oh, finally, I was worried about some, that something bad had happened. It's not easy to call from here. How are things going with the case? Of course, I was going to tell you. The appeal fell through. Of course it did. I don't know if Angelo did something or if it was pressure from the mayor, but uh, retrial was denied. I have to wait a month before I can file another appeal, but as you know, the mayoral election is in 21 days. Even if the court does accept it, it's hopeless. I expect it as much. Don't lose heart. I have some good news. Uh, do you remember the anonymous phone call uh, you received the night before you were arrested? I remember, it was a woman. She said she had evidence that the mayor was taking bribes. I can I get calls like that every day from scammers selling false information. I know you've fallen for a few times, gotten screwed a lot out of a lot of money, but that one could be real. Remember where she wanted to call, meet you? A little bar called Baroness? Rings a bell. My investi investigation has uncovered that uh, the bar has some connection with the mayor, but I can't explain properly over the phone. We'd need to meet in person. Only you may have to wait a few days... The person said that there were so many requests that all slots are full, and even lawyers need to get, go on the waiting list. Um, when it rains, it pours! I know you're getting anxious. Do you think you could possibly ask one of the guards to see if there's a way to bypass the waiting list? Might be worth a try. What else have I got to do, right? Then we'll come at this from both sides. I'll carry on looking for clues. Make sure you're careful in there. Okay. So we know that there's evidence. We know that this Maggie person is probably his girlfriend. So, seeing as there are only two calls... Uh, shoot, I need another ten bucks then. Um, lunch is at twelve. We go to the laundry room, we get more work done. Uh, do one more spot of work, then go back, talk to a guard, see if there's a way to talk to him, and then go back to that, uh, that guy, I think. Alright, start ironing. One vest, nine minutes, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine. That's perfect. Okay, pants. One, two, three, four, five. You know, it's great. Just we're we're putting them back in wet. <laughs> we got the money we need to make that other call. Okay. So we basically get paid our fifteen bucks and then we leave because uh, time is running short until lunch. Feels like a urgence would be a bit prudent here. Alright. Alright, so we talked to this guy. This guy seems alright. New prisoner. Okay, relax. I'm not a hard-ass like Bruce. Name's Billy. I'm the deputy captain responsible for the inmates' day-to-day -day lives. Please meet you, sir. According to the rules, inmates can come to me every week to get their personal items, but to be honest, I, it's never enough. So the inmates usually end up fighting over them. Rest assured, I won't make any trouble. Hey, don't worry. What I mean is, to make life easier for you, I run a small business on the side. For a little money, you can replenish your everyday essentials. Of course, I also sell a few goodies, too. Sounds like a win-win. Okay. What about... Let's see. Do you need anything? Well, let's collect our personal items. Seems like stuff we'll need. And then ask about the visitation there. I'll have to ask Bruce. He's in charge of that. Okay. And what can we buy? We've got 20 bucks. We can get a cookie. Get a $15 cookie. That's depressing. Okay. And there's coffee. Hold on. Quick coffee break. It's just hot water. Okay, that's lame. Okay. You. Hey, attention, what is it? Ask about visitations. You have a question about visitation? I heard that all the visitation slots are full, and even lawyers need to go on the waiting list. Uh, lawyers, tell you what, even if the father of the forest came down here from the sky, you'd have to wait like everybody else. Last month, uh, some uh, bitch injured the guard, escorting him during visitation. So now security and visitation has been doubled. Naturally, we've had to reduce the number of uh, visiting rooms. That seems like too much of a coincidence, but I really need to see my lawyer. Is there any way to bypass that waiting list? Of course there is, but my help comes with conditions attached. What kind of conditions? Do you know that there's three gangs in the prison? One of them is Caesar the Chimps Black Claw Gang. I need her to go to his cell. There should be a blue ledger there. If you can find him, bring it to me. I'll take care of visitation for you. So, uh, I'm just gonna... I don't want to ask his business. Why don't you just toss him there and find it yourself? Don't ask too many questions. It's not your concern. You just have to answer. Will you do it or not? Don't have any other choice? Okay. I'll get it done. B205, how do we get there? I'm assuming we go to the door, like... Well, actually, no, B, so... B section would be over here. A 
Looks like our search icon's over there, so we'll just go ahead and quickly sneak on over there. And then, as soon as what this game considers a day to be done is done, I'm gonna have to call it, because I don't have a whole lot of ton time today. See, Bruce said the ledger should be here, although, I do I really want to steal a from him? This belongs to the to this leader of this gang. Why would the captain of the guards need to be so sneaky? What's he up to? It's like I'm parachuting blindfold. I have a feeling I'm about to jump to a pit of fire. Do it. So you're standing in the corridor. Now might not be a good time. I'll wait until he's not around just to be safe. So we're gonna go talk to the guy down there. Maybe they want to f start a fight or something. Let's see, what do you want? Sharptooth Gang controls the prison basketball court and TV room. He's the boss. Alex the Lion. You want something from their gang? Uh, what do you need done? Just happen to have a few jobs for an outsider like you, but listen good. I hate failure, so if you take a job, you better not mess it up. Um, okay. Special delivery. Let's see, they've been getting more and more cocky since he beat our guy in the last boxing match. Then two days ago, he cut in the line in the cafeteria. Looks like it's some teach him a lesson. He needs to learn that being all brawn and no brains doesn't work in here since he likes to cut in food for line. We, uh, we'll send him a little takeout delivery. I need someone to hide this bag under the bed in his cell and report back to me. He's in cell block A. Look for the sign. Um... Okay, fair enough. What about you? We're supposed to be distracting you, so... Alright, so they're talking about how it's not time to go to war. I mean, in the meantime, we should probably go drop this thing off and uh, see how it all ends up working out. I'm thinking we probably drop it off. Maybe, hopefully, they've started leaving for lunch by that point, and uh, then we can go into his cell and find the thingamajig. This feels like that's what they're trying to get you to do, to, to be late for lunch. Right, this is neat so far. It's kind of interesting. Don't know what's with the animal thing, but it kind of works. All right. I'm guessing this is where we drop the thing. Or no, this is ours. So I guess theoretically we could also drop this thing off some other time. Wait, is this actually ours, or what's the deal? Yeah, this is ours. So what do we do with this frickin' thing? Build a buffalo cell, but where is he? Look for the sign on the wall. Okay. Rudolph the reindeer. Koala Kevin. Platypus Perry. I'm assuming it's gonna be one of these ones or something. Uh, rhino, elephant, walrus. <laughs> Winston the walrus. Alright. See, John the tiger. Empty. Okie doke. William the tortoise. Racehorse Ray. <laughs> uh, giraffe, uh, or Jimmy the giraffe. Wilbur the goat. And, okay, so what gives? Where's this guy? And I'm starting to run out of time for the day. It's a bit of a bummer. I meant to cover more of this earlier, and then it just didn't want to run today. <sighs> Technical issues. They always happen in the last second. Let's see, time's running out. Can we befriend this guy? Another day, less than 100% or 100 days left. Surely you would be glad about getting out. Why so down? And understand getting out will be a disaster for me. Do you know why I'm in here? Last year I broke into a random house to steal some money. I climbed down the drain pipe and went through the window into the second room bathroom. Turned out the woman who lived there was taking a shower. 
Uh, <laughs> guess it was a face for the eyes. Bad luck struck again. The, uh, the broad had a face like a, a, a dropped pie and breath like a month-old trash can. Then she said I'd defiled her purity and had to marry her. I was so scared I called the police and turned myself in. <laughs> Jeez. Interesting story. I didn't expect that twist at the end. You think that's the end of the story? Oh, no. Not by a long shot. Her brother's some big-time mob boss. He said if I didn't marry her, he'd have me castrated. Damn it, I'm still so young. <laughs> now I understand why you don't want to get out. You've befriended Eddie the Opossum. His rapport will help you. Can I hire this guy to... Here, have, have this quest item. Uh, or apparently, you know what? Here, have a cookie for your troubles, because it seems like it seems like you're scared of the cookie on the outside. Anyway, uh, let's see, Kangaroo Joe, and I'm assuming this one, because uh, platypus. Where, what the hell? Where is this buffalo? I've I've probably already read the thing, and yeah, reindeer Rudolph. Uh. The terms are simple. Starting from today, if Black Claw Gang wants to move on, move product through the kitchen, the fee goes up by 50%. Uh, let's see. Some. Okay, someone changed jobs. I'm skipping through some of this here because I want to read that sign behind him. I'm going to assume this is. Should I make the delivery? Yeah. By. Let's see. Hope no one sees me. Yeah, this seems unlikely. Try again later, okay. Alright, well, lunch is next. I wonder, uh. Can we try again? Okay. How do we get focus back? See, in here there's some things that can't be done half-heartedly, but the good news is your focus points automatically recover, one point per hour. If you can't meet someone, try chewing some mint to calm yourself down. Interesting. Okay. That's neat. Though, a little bit worried about what we do with this bag. I think we store the bag so that we don't get caught with it later. Because I'm assuming we'll get patted down and stuff. Hide that. Okay. Then we hide a cookie for later, because why not? There we go. Worst case scenario, pet ants, you know? Alright, anyway, so that's all I really have time for for this one today. So this one, it looks like uh, they're, they're, it's one of these ones that's starting off on sale. So if this looks like your kind of thing, like if you were a fan of escapists and stuff like that and wanted to see something similar, uh, you know, a general similar vein there. Um, this looks like it's coming out at uh, 1750. So, you know, looks like a pretty darn fun game. Um, but anyways, I have to get going. So thank you all for stopping by. And um, yeah, I, I thought this was that this was uh, pretty darn fun. Uh, also, it's just funny how this guy's just mopping back and forth in this one spot. But I appreciate that they added this little shiny reflection right here. It's completely unneeded detail that adds a just a lot to this particular scene in terms of being believable. Because any one of these settings, you always notice when the floor is reflective. It's just, it's good. You know, it's good to see. Um, but anyway, I gotta get going. Y'all take care. Later.